Welcome to do like such a perfect sound Though we have some rules on this lazy inside It's in the same line and we'll get all our fun To walk is a perfect place Please keep off of the grass I your shoes for your face Do like it, do like it, do like it's a perfect place <laughs> I've always loved, loved that, loved that song. <laughs>
the character. But he died of a heart attack, and so Mike Myers came in, and he told him to rewrite the script with, for his, for him, for him, and he is so funny. I love the relationship that he has with Eddie Murphy, aka Donkey. Eddie Murphy is freaking funny as heck in this movie, as Donkey. He's... Oh, he's annoying. He doesn't know how to shut up. But you love him because he's like that. But you gotta have friends. <laughs> Cameron Diaz, Princess Fiona. Cameron Diaz is still a good actress today. And she's in still in some good movies. She's been in some bad ones. But she she she's always good. What, good. But her as Princess Fiona, she's awesome. You also got John Lithgow as Laura Farquhar. He's really good, too. You also got other characters like the Big Bad Wolf, uh, Three Blind Mice, Thelonious, The Three Little Pigs, Pinocchio, Geppetto, The Gingerbread Man, Magic Mirror, Ro Roz Robin Hood, Peter Pan. Like, you can't catch me. I'm the Gingerbread Man! No, I'm not monster. <laughs> and this movie has some of my favorite parts in it. You got an awesome part with um with them fighting the knights so they can go get Fiona and just when they go slay the drag get the dragon, that's cool. And so yeah, I just I like I like it. Now, originally, this movie was supposed to be a hybrid of live action and CGI, with black background plate manager and the main characters composited to the scene as motion ca capture computer graphics. But instead, they used just went for animation. Now, I really did enjoy it. I love the score by Harry Gregson Williams and John Powell. I also love the songs that they use pop you got old songs, old the world again. Hallelujah. Um all these other songs is just why you know Yeah. It's pretty much that. And I love um I love all the cultural references that they throw in here. They all of them works. I love the magic mirror. I love the reference to the dating game and just all the the references in here are cool and I remember owning this movie and the f second one on DVD coming home school rewatching them over and over again I still watch them over again this is that kind of movie that can entertain your kids and adults DreamWorks animation you never let me down I haven't seen some some of your movies but you are a cool guy and this movie beat Monsters Inc and Jimmy Neutron for Academy Award and this is one of the best of films from Entertainment Weekly and this is one of the greatest cartoon this is a cool character and just this movie is just really good you know and the, this movie influenced a lot of stuff using pop culture references and musical numbers like Robots, Chicken Little, Happily Never After, Igor, Hoodwink. Just, this movie just paved the way for animation films. And just, you know, this, this is, this is a really good movie. So for that, I'm going to give the first... Shrek, my rating of my JD Rainbow Silver approval. I definitely, I have no flaws with this movie whatsoever. It's not too long, it's not boring, it's not dumb. This movie hit everything right. It hit home for DreamWorks. And without this movie, you wouldn't have a movie based on talking trolls. Starring Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake, which came out last year. 
so let me know what you guys think of Shrek. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it gets too much love? I don't see why, but if you like this video, you can come here and we can all have a good laugh.